All right, welcome back everybody. So today we're gonna to talk about some suspension upgrades, mainly adjustable heim joints for your front and rear sway bar. Uh, so when you run coilovers or airbags, a lot of times you're gonna have like a clearance issue in the front. Um, what I did with my car when I had coilovers, I notched the sway bar link, which ended up bending a little bit. And then when I got to my air ride build, I realized I actually needed them. I kind of had to relocate it a little bit because it was just, a whole different design of what's going on in the front. Uh, so when I started looking at like Corvette specific Heim joints, uh, there wasn't a lot out there. And what there was out there was like really expensive, like several hundreds of dollars for just a front set. Uh, so I just took the liberty of designing my own for this car. So if you followed that build, you saw uh, at one point I made a set of front ones. Uh, so what I did over the last couple months is I developed our own front and rear uh, adjustable sway bar links. Uh, these are at like a mid-range price point. Uh, we'll sell these front and or rear. You can buy them if you just want the front or just the rears or however you want it, you buy them as a set. Um, so this will allow you, if you're running coilovers or airbags, you can use your factory sway bar, factory bushings, and uh, factory control arm mount. Uh, we have our own bracket that fits right with the 84 to 87, that little plate that the shock bolts into. You remove your link and this bolts down there, which we'll get to, I'll show you. So pretty much these uh, parts here are going to be a good upgrade at a good price. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at all this stuff and hang them on the car. All right, so here are the front ones. They have graded hardware and come with the mounting brackets. These will sell for $89.99. Same the rear ones, same thing, graded hardware. They go right in the factory locations of the sway bar and sway bar mount. And this also comes with a little mounting tool, which I'll show you here in a little bit. Uh, and these will be $69.99. They are on sale right now at that price. Uh, my goal is to keep it right around that price. So that is that what we have. I'm gonna show you how these front ones bolt up to the control arm. Just a little quick preview, mainly about this bracket that you'll find 84 to 87. Uh, you're gonna obviously remove this link from the sway bar and you're gonna take this mounting bushing thing completely off, get it out of there. And you're gonna remove this one front bolt. And then you're gonna put the bracket down in here like that. There's a little space in there and it fits perfectly in there for that. And that's all you have to do. And then it bolts right underneath of the control arm. So we are working on right now 88 to 96 control arm, which will essentially be this but with like a longer bolt that goes through the side of the control arm because that's just the different design from those years. But I wanted just to show this mainly because when I show it on my car, my car doesn't have that at all, mainly because of Dare Ride and I had to do away with all that. So that is that. So we're gonna get ready and put this on the car. Uh, but since we are talking about products, I just wanna show you a couple other things that we do sell. And like I said, all of these links will be in the description of all our videos. So if you're ever looking for anything, you should be able to just pull up any video and find it right in there and it'll take you and you can uh, you know, pick out whatever you need. Uh, one of our big sellers is the throttle body bypass kit for TPI L98 cars. So normally there is a coolant line that goes in your throttle body and out the other side. The original kit that they sell is just like a union that you take them off the throttle body and you put it in there with hose clamps, which is kind of a little messy and that's just my opinion. What this does is this hooks up to the intake and goes right to the other heater line on the right side of the car. And it comes with two caps to cap the throttle body and two hose clamps for it. And this will also be in the description of all our videos as well. And then just a couple of little things that we do sell that we kind of packaged um, just for ease is smog pump related stuff. So there is like three caps to plug off those check valves if you wanted to. And they come with the three rubber caps and the three hose clamps. And then also uh, if you wanted to too, you, they have uh, three metal caps to cap those off too. So if you're looking for little stuff like that, all this stuff is in our videos that we did in our performance series for all the bolt on stuff. Most of that's in the Smog Pump Delete and then the throttle body bypass is in its own video alone. So now we're gonna just go ahead and hang these sway bar links on the car and go from there. All right, so this is what your front would look like. Mine's obviously off for this air ride suspension setup. So you're gonna wanna remove this link here these two bolts off here, take that thing completely off, and then this bolt here, you're gonna wanna take off, because our new bracket is actually gonna sit down 
in that hole like I showed you earlier. So this being said, this is off on my car. This leaves us the control arm and the hole right here where the bracket's gonna go down. So I'm going to sit this down in here like this. You can mount it this way if you like. I have mine set like this just for the amount of articulation when I lay the car completely out just so nothing binds. But either way, you can put it like this or like that. At this point, you're gonna take this long bolt here with the spacer and run it through here. Now I have the big end up on this, if you can see it. You get that through the heim joint, then another spacer. And you push that through the factory bushing, like that. And then you use flange nylocker on the back of the sway bar like that. And then you take flange bolt at the bottom here for this small 5 16 bolt. And then tighten that down. All this hardware here are 9 16 so when you tighten that down, same as the back. And then this one underneath would be a half inch nut. All right, now I'll give you a close up there. And then up there, how that looks. And same thing with the rear, you wanna unbolt both of them at the same time when you're taking them apart and then kind of hook them up and your suspension may be hanging down like this is. You may have to put a jack up underneath on the other side just to make sure everything sits in there right. But that's it, relatively simple. All right, so I'm going to put this bolt in here with these nuts and we're just going to spread this bracket out a little bit just to make clearance for the lower heim joint here. So once you have the bolt in there, kind of back them out to where you're actually opening this bracket. And it only needs to come out, I think, a little bit more than a sixteenth of an inch, not even an eighth inch for that to fit in there. Stretch that a little bit, and you can measure it. It's gotta be one inch. Okay, starting with the lower bracket here, I'm just gonna sit the link in here. I use the thick end down here, and then the bolt goes, and then a spacer. And then we'll just slide another spacer down here like that. And then this low profile nylocker goes in the back for clearance. So it's a little bit difficult getting all these lined up, but just take your time and it'll slide right in there. And then for the top, starts out with this bolt, flange bolt, spacer, then it goes through the heim joint here. And then on the other end here, flat washer goes through. And you're gonna wanna unhook the other side of the sway bar too, just so you can move it up and down to do each link. Cause if the other one's tied up, you're gonna have a hard time moving this up and down. And then on the, just on the other side here is a flange nylocker nut.
far. So that'll do it for today's video. So whether or not you're doing coilovers or air rod or you just want a good upgrade from the factory stuff, go ahead and check those out. So if you enjoyed the video, press like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.